Extra traction coming off the end. Oh, what? Land it. Come on. Welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Horizon 4 we are back today with the Hot Wheels Legends DLC car pack with car number two of the six that have been released now if you guys did miss last episode we took a look at the Ford F5 that pickup truck was a lot of fun to drive man we had the dually turbo diesel if you guys missed that episode definitely go and take a look at that one but today though we're taking a look at something different man a lot different actually be moving the engine to the back of the vehicle right we're driving this for today man we have the 2018 Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z 639 horsepower 636 foot pounds of torque weighing in at 1740 pounds 2.9 liter 2jz this is going to be a lot of fun i want to waste any more time for today i want to get this thing out on the road and of course before we start dad joke of the day here coming from reboy fam and he goes dad joke why don't cannibals eat clowns because they taste funny right okay man leave your dad jokes down below and of course don't forget to slap that like button uh, apparently we're in winter i did not even realize oh, it's thursday oh my god it's thursday today yeah well i, I guess it's friday when you're watching this but right, this thing was probably one of the most highly anticipated vehicles in the car pack a lot of people really wanted to see this in here and i actually did a little bit of searching on youtube found this was at the sema convention in 2018 there was a couple videos regarding this thing here so it's pretty crazy uh to see this now in the game right as a full working vehicle i mean even the cockpit opens up man this is pretty crazy danger ejection seat i don't think we won't get ejected will we i hope not we can actually step into this thing oh holy shit it's pretty tiny we've got actual manual gear what just a little bit claustrophobic pop the cockpit right down we even have this tint glow i don't think there's any other cars in the game that actually have this tint to this window um could be wrong but start it up holy shit it looks like one of the damn vegetable strainers that you'd find in your kitchen right or or an afterburner right? and just real quick though we did have the winter rollover event and we didn't really have much here. there's nothing really new for this week i mean although we did have the hot wheels legend pack come in so that's why we had that kind of break from autumn to winter was for the dlc pack to come in and then for spring we get another new vehicle which is awesome uh which is the new exclusive shelby 1000 so i'm excited to get that <sighs> what is this man this is wild 2jz on this thing in the back as well too i gotta remember that it's in the back of this car Oof! i feel like i'm about to take off in this thing here let's go out of cockpit and look at it. it's not even Right, it's kind of dark right now, but that tint on the window, though, just kind of makes me kind of feel happy a little bit, right? It's nice. The whipping of the turbo on the back end here, like... Oh. We're going to hope to see if we can get uh, daylight here. I hate driving in the night. Okay, I just remembered. We have the technology. I can do this if I want to. I just got to go to create challenge card. I just go to, you know, whatever I want. I can set a drift zone to really wherever. Let's just set it as far away as possible. Uh, we could change the season if I really wanted to, but I think I'm just going to keep it on morning, clear, traffic in the winter, traffic on, rewind on, lock camera, none. Here we go. We're going to go no music. All right, the fact that we can do this, and it's a touch of a button instantly. That's awesome. We've got daylight now. We don't have to worry about the darkness. And here we go. Our first drive with our 2 Jet Z rear engine with that transmission just sitting right out the back of the car, too. Hopefully, we'll get rear-ended. be absolutely brutal. I forget exactly what he said. I think there's what over 500 rivets in this cockpit. Um, the glass, I mean, it's all custom made or you know, the plexiglass, whatever this exactly is. But super cool though. Huge fan of this. Got a good first drive with this. So let's go ahead and throw some upgrades on here. And I'm very curious to see what we can do to this. Horizon race tires, which we already have on. So that's a plus. We do have the possibility of snow tires, which I think I'm going to do. Oh my goodness, 285s. 295s, 305s, and 315s on the front. But I feel like I don't use these wheels enough, and this is the perfect opportunity for a three-spoke wheel, I feel like, right? I mean, I don't know. 19, we can do 20s on here, man. If that's not futuristic, I don't know what is. That's not 20s. That's 21s. Holy shit. We're going to go 20s. Damn, we don't have anything, really. Okay, well, we're going to have to go for it because we need to uh, unlock camber and stuff like that. So, well, the roll cage actually gets in there. 
I can't believe they actually fit that in there. Oh, here we go. This is where we're going to get some real power here, right? I mean, the weight to the power last time was a lot. And now, oh my God, we have 1,281 horsepower already. 1,309, 1,323 is going to be our final total. This, this is ridiculous. Right now, I think I did hear that the driver of this actually was inspired by the salt flats. And that's kind of why he made this. So this is pretty cool, the fact that uh, we have this now at, you know, fully in the game. And look, just full right around. Just rotates itself. Down rear tires, a lot. Uh, speed, we're going to bring a lot. <laughs> uh, maybe their caster, we'll bring that out a little bit. Suspension, we're going to definitely soften this up. Look at how tight it is. Opening, soften it up as well. Hopefully we'll give us... Oh my god, it's the problem, right? It's the turbo is the issue. We need to be able to turn down the PSI of the turbo is really what needs to happen. But this game does not allow that. Like I said, it would be cool if Forza Horizon 5, you did have the ability to actually turn the PSI up or down, right? That would be kind of cool. This thing's tough, man. Oh my god, I'm just feathering the throttle. I wish there was a way to actually see it. I think there is. I have to pull up the damn telemetry, or I have to pull up the uh, telemetry, I think. Now, one thing that this thing will shine in, of course, is going to be a uh, nice little top speed run for today, man. I'm excited to get into that. Oh, yep, yeah, thank you. Just live right around that, man. All right, we gotta get to our damn destination over here. Hopefully one piece, because this car is just... It's a lot, man. It's taking a toll on me here. It is hard to keep on the road. The gas, right? It just... It's so slippery, man. And it doesn't want to come back. Oh! It's going to have to stay on it a little bit. Otherwise, it'll just let go. I keep forgetting it's mid-engine. That kind of... Right? That's the way mid-engines kind of work. You gotta... You gotta go with it. You gotta not be scared of it. Just like that. I'm scared. Come back, though. We'll come back. Back in the day, man. And here we go. We are finally on the ice pad. And hopefully we can get a good start here. Oh no. Oh no. We're going the wrong direction. Come on. No. No. The tires are definitely going to be freezing now after that. Got them soaked and then right back into the damn snow. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not working. Jeez, this is not working at all. Go full throttle. Right, just no care. But yeah, we just we need some traction on the front end. There's just there's nothing. All wheel drive. This all wheel drive definitely should get us where we want to go for this top speed run. Good head start. No, 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 no. Can we jump this. There you go. Extra traction coming off again. Oh, what? Land it. Come on. This is the longest two-wheel slide I've ever seen. Okay, there we go. Unbelievable. 170. Oh, no, 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 come on. Hold it. Oh, no. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're going right through the trees. Oh, it's good. Man, we got a lot of height on that. Right now, of course, this thing is going to be extremely difficult to slide properly just because of the fact that it is so grippy, so it's going to be mainly just a power slide in the corners. Oof! So keep it pointed in the right direction, we should be fine. That's all I need to do. But this is dangerous, this car, man. I, I don't know about this thing here. Right, look at the damn windscreen here. Oh, yeah, yeah. At least it protects me, right? That's all. There we go. we go! Didn't cop you. We're actually flying. <laughs> Crash landing! Crash landing, man, aboard! <laughs> oh boy, can I jump this? I don't think so. We're gonna try it. Ooh. Hey! I don't know where we are, but this is a nice little mini spot right here. A little, uh, little car lot? I have not seen this. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this spot or not, but this is a pretty nice little lot section. Stop it, oh my. Right into the wall. Now, we're going over Fortune Island. I mean, I, I can't sleep without this car at least going down the mountain one time. We're just going to go ahead and take off that all-wheel drive. I'm not a huge fan of that swap. we got a lot of people on the mountain here. Hop over the top of it, and let's claim our dominance on the hill, man. Imagine if it had some type of 
you know, notification that somebody's completed a high score run or something like that. That would be kind of cool for everybody that's here. Oh boy, I forgot what that felt like. Are right, we gonna just be easy with this thing? <laughs> it's like go full throttle and almost lose it. That's great. I'm gonna brake at the same time as I'm driving just to keep this thing straight. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many points I'm making on this. I am not looking forward to this one bit. Okay, the wheel and the peripheral are now working at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wheel off. Because I can't drift for shit with this thing on the wheel. Right, let's see how we do without it. It's just, it's so twitchy, right? It's one of those cars where you need to be on a controller, I feel like. Come on. Cut it. Yeah, it's just, it's not really a car that is meant for the wheel. It's a lot. It really is. I mean, even struggling on a controller just to keep it going here. Not on sim steering also, which is the biggest thing, right? Imagine if we were on sim steering. What? It'd be absolutely insane, actually, to be honest. Can you slide out there? Extend it. Oh, no, no. Too much handbrake. We're getting used to it. It's definitely a tough car to slide, though, but I do like it, though. I like the fact that it is a challenge. All right, we'd love to know your thoughts down below on it, though. Did you go ahead and pick up the Hot Wheels DLC? If so, what was your favorite car in the pack? Uh, this one's probably the most, you know, requested car in the pack. Is it my favorite? I don't think so. I mean, especially after driving it, it doesn't really have, you know, a fun factor on the wheel for this car. It's more of a challenge and it's more, more frustrating than anything to try to get this thing right. And this game is just stunning every single time I come back to it to see the Aurora Borealis and Fortune Island, man. Let me know your thoughts down below on this thing. It was a tough car to drive. Probably difficulty level is at an all-time 10 controller and on the wheel. You have to be just super precise with your movements, even your throttle. And look at me right now. I look like I can't drive. Right, they made this car look way too easy on the damn trailer. They're doing corkscrews coming around, right? They're drifting and having a great time. I'm out here having a terrible time with this thing. <laughs> look at your thoughts down below. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow on the channel. I'm out. Peace.